Hey guys, welcome to GriffoMedia.com. I'm Griffo. Today we're trying a bit of an experiment on the channel. Uh, we're going to play a racing game that I've downloaded off the Xbox Live Store. Uh, it's for the Xbox One. It's Tabletop Racing World Tour. It's not designed for a wheel and pedals. However, with the use of a crosshair converter, we can actually play this game with accelerator and brake steering and full force feedback. And it's what we're going to do over the next few weeks on the channel. Play those games that you can pick up for less than 10 UK pounds and make use of your racing wheel. Because let's be honest, if you've invested the money in a racing wheel, you want to play as many games as possible. And it doesn't have to be the Forces of the World and GT Sport and all those brilliant games graphically and the Sims that you get really under the wings of. Uh, let's play some really quirky arcade games and this is a first time trial for me on this game so like I say the force feedback works really good you've got an accelerator you've got a brake and you've got the steering now previously I've tested games on the wheel that are meant for wheel stuff like I don't know the track racer mania track turbo mania whatever it's called and that really because the tightness of the tracks and stuff it had me all over the wheel and it really didn't work out that well uh, with this, uh, the tracks are a little bigger than Trackmania Turbo, so let's just see how we get on here. Obviously, you've got the little item weapon pickups and stuff. Uh, we're just going to hop into the first amateur level on this game just to see if the wheel actually does work. It's an X on the G29. This is a wheel obviously made for PlayStation, uh, so it's an A on the Xbox wheel. And uh, let's see, so accelerator here, got steering going. Uh, we do have a brake pedal as well. I'm not sure if drift works in this game, probably not. And uh, as you can hopefully hear, force feedback is working okay as well. So, uh, initial thoughts, yeah, it doesn't work too bad actually. Um, obviously time will tell as we get around some of these bends here. Uh, you can change the view of your car, etc. in this game as well, uh, which we'll have a flick through very soon on the video. But yeah, this is uh, tabletop racing uh, and it's the world tour. And I picked this up really cheap actually in the Easter sale on the Xbox store, I think it was about six and a half pounds. So, uh, and as you can see, it works okay. It's another game that you can play on your wheel. So that's a weapon there, I believe. Oh, there we go, <laughs> threw it the wrong way. I missed that one. Yeah, force feedback, you get the rumble when you hit the cars and when you go around and hit some of these items right here. So I got a second position on that race. So uh, let's skip through here. One initial thing as well I found with this game, it's a very small download, it's about six and a half gig, but the load times are insanely long. Again, maybe it's something they'll correct with a, with a different firmware update on the game, but uh, this game has been knocking around quite a while now. Uh, so let's just skip to this next one. It's a time trial. Uh, complete a sequence of laps before the clock runs out. So uh, it's got to be clean, consistent, accurate. Let's just see how we get on. This is uh, Logitech G29 on a Xbox One playing a game we're not supposed to play in a wheel. So uh, we're just winging this. Uh, any comments just below, guys, and check out my channel for an array of arcade racing games um, on my channel. Um, one of the most recent ones, of course, is the Mario Kart Arcade DX, which a lot of people are commenting on at the moment. So let's try another level of this and see how we get on. Okay, so we will have a go and see through the car views very soon on this, because obviously that is a biggie with some of these games. Sometimes you can get a little bit too close to the actual car. <laughs> no chance on this time trial that I'm actually going to do very good. Uh, but do give me the benefit of the doubt, it's the first time I've done on this. Probably not the uh, the best level to demonstrate a racing wheel to be honest with you because I'm crashing all over the shop. I would say a level like this, guaranteed a controller will, will do the business for you but not really a wheel just because there's so many turns and stuff. But, uh, whoa! <laughs> No, no, no. Hello, cat. Hello, cat. Yeah, look, wallet's getting my way there. Uh, might be a good opportunity, actually, to flick through some of the, the views in this game, actually. So, uh, just trying to remember where the views are. Yeah, so obviously you get that little car down there. 
which is kind of don't work with the wheel to be fair. Uh, obviously you can bring it back up to a scaled size, but big it up like, so yeah, the views are, you're not gonna get a cockpit view on a game like this, which might be nice just as an option. But there we go, we're gonna stop this. Oh, actually it stopped for me. Did I collect anything? No, awful on that. But uh, the wheel works well initially with the race and the GP style. But uh, if you're going for precision and to avoid stuff, probably not. So we'll do one more race on this. And then uh, obviously you can uh, leave your comments below. For those of you who are, who are regulars on playing this game, let's have a look, what's this? The trophy, choose an event, hot race lap or hot lap race. So uh, we'll try this one. This will be the last one we do. And then of course you can comment below guys, but yeah, it does work. Uh, enjoyable I found in the race, not so much in the time trial, uh, but this is tabletop top racing. Easy for me to say world tour on the Xbox One with the Logitech G29. So here we go. You can see load times insanely long. Here we go. Looks like my bedroom in the 80s. Didn't have a TV like that though. Mine was black and white. Right, here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, let's have a look into this thing. Press A. So, where, where do we go here? Oh! <laughs> Excellent. I have no idea where I'm going. Nearly off the edge, actually. Nice little Simon rip off there. Yes, I would like that weapon. There's nobody else in this race, which is rather disappointing. album cover to hits five remember that album right so these little question marks are making me go a little faster when I press this little boost you can see I get a little bit of a launch going on it's probably shortcuts and everything and you're probably screaming at your computer saying oh no there this is my first attempt at this game uh, just to say yeah it works with a wheel probably you're gonna get faster times with a controller There you go, second. If there's a race available before we end this video, I will try and do that. Other than that, then we'll just wrap the video up. So next is on the A, which is the X on this wheel. There we go, so. Garage, no, we don't want the garage. That, of course, was the race. Can we go back on this? Let's leave that there then. Guys, that is it. That is uh, Tabletop Racing World Tour on the Xbox One with the Logitech G29 wheel and pedals with the aid of that little baby over there, which is the Crosshair Converter. Thanks for checking out the channel, guys. See you later. Bye.